<laughs> G'day, Mepo Five here. The project for you this week is putting lattice on a veranda front. So the first thing you need to do is uh, put a fascia on here. See how the front section here has got a fascia? That's the, uh, the, that's the original blue there, the fascia. Well, we've got to put one here. So all I'm using is just uh, treated pine. Just your, your standard treated pine, 90 mil wide by 40 mil deep. Put it up, cut it to length, and then bolt it. I'm just going straight up with a coach screw, six mil thick, boom, straight up, 130 long. Hook it up with your old ratchet set. So we'll get that going on. All right, what you want to do then is you want to mark your length, and then um, I'm using a couple of old bits because you won't see I'm going to paint it. So I'm using a couple of old bits which reduce the cost of the new pieces. So, so mark your length, get your saw out, and give it a go. All right, now here's one I prepared earlier, and this is what will happen when you get to the end. Nice long strokes. There you go, she's done. Now let's go around and I'll show you where she's going. You come around here. G'day, Mippo, how you going, mate? Yes, yeah, Scully, good, mate, good. See you doing a bit of work around the old arm veranda, eh? Yeah, you're doing a great job, Mippo, you're doing a great job. Yeah. So there you go, that's where the, um, that's where the old meets the new. Pop that up there. You get it up there, make sure it's all level, everything's level, running in line, same as on the other side. You get your drill, you go through your existing hole and go very slowly, right? Very slowly, it'll follow its own path and then just hit it, boom, straight up there. I won't do it because I've already done it. So that's something I prepared earlier. Once you've done that, you get your drill and then you go through existing hole again slowly till it finds its own path and boom, shove it up there, 30 mil. And then we put this back on. Make sure it's the right way. Like a glove. I'll just go and get some coach screws. <laughs> How you going? How you going? I just thought I'd buzz in. He's not bad, eh? But um, you do realise I'm the one that's teaching him everything, eh? What's going on with the hat? Hold on. I better go fix myself back to wardrobe. Here he comes, Roger. <laughs> what are you doing, Scully? Yeah, nothing, mate, nothing. Just adjusting me, had I? All righty. One thing I forgot: when you um, when you've done your pilot, your six mil through there for your your bolt. You gotta run a um, the same size as your shank. You gotta run that thickness of the shank through it as well, so you can get this bolt to slide through. Otherwise, you'd be there for days just twisting it in. No one wants to have a screw that long. So you get a pilot hole. Let it follow its own path. Don't push on it. Just push the trigger in intermittency. It's only timber, man. It's only timber. It'll find its own path. Righto, next one. Roger. Okay, now, anyway, we'll whack them in and they should go straight into your pilot hole. Yep, I'll just give it a twist so it stays there. Where's my pilot hole? There it is. Okay, I'm going to get them all lined up because I've made this like a push fit, so... We're in. Get it. Right, hey, get these in. You're about time, my bro. Thanks, Scully. Thanks for your help, too, bud. Yeah, no worries, mate. No worries. Yep. Righto. You know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. That's pretty, pretty solid. It's only holding lattice up, it's not structural. It's just fascia. Roger. All right, we'll go, we'll go do that. We'll go do that to the other side. Okie dokie, Roger D. Hey, Scully. 
Scully, Roger D. Hey. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that, Mepo. What'd you say? Yeah, mate, I said Roger D. Take a knee. <laughs> right. He's just left, but he forgot his camera, so I'm going to take it. We're going to go check this other side out, eh? Alrighty then, here's the other side. So we'll get a coat of paint on that. Like I said, we're leaving this one brown. I'm painting this one grey, and I'm also painting the legs grey. We'll get to painting, eh? We'll get to painting. Station ready to clean it up for painting. Get all the dirt off it, and um, no, it's all the old nails across there from the old shade cloth they had up there. So you've already started, Scully. Yeah, my pay mate. I've already given it a go, eh? I'll pull all these nails out for you, bud. Oh, you've gone a long way, Scully, since me daughter just ducked out to a car. Yeah, mate, I don't muck around, mate. Excellent. I'm loving it, loving it. Yeah, all right then. So what you got to do now is just give it a quick brush. Take all the, um, take all the dirt off it, eh? Yeah, so like Scully said, just give it a quick brush all the way along. Just to get all the rough stuff off, you know, I'm not going to sand it back. I still want that rustic look. I'm just getting all the loose dirt off it. Alrighty -o. So there's the first coat of paint. She's all hunky dory. She's all good. Looks good, grey. Looks good, looks good. All the way around. Up to there, so she's all good. Now a little trick between coats. Just whack your brush, get all the excess paint off. Whack your brush in some um, cling wrap, out, uh, glad wrap. And um, good to go for the next coat. That's two coats. I won't put any more coats on it. But um, <laughs> what I will do is I'm going to leave the glad wrap right there on the brush because it gives you a bit of paint just to do any dab. So that's a freebie. Rod GD. Dukini. <laughs> Keep that for tomorrow, that brush. Yep, that's right, Scully. So we'll get back to you when we've got the lattice on there. Rod G. All righty, top of the morning to you. <laughs> Day two of the lattice project, so I'm gonna whip up the Bunnings and I'm gonna grab the lattice. All oh, right, got the lattice. Matrix, all oh, gray. Roger D. We'll go pay for all this stuff and we'll get it up, hey? All righty then, so what you wanna do is get your lattice and line it up to where it's going. This is already a flat surface, so I'm gonna use that existing flat surface. Measure down here. where it's going meter 25 right then up here and then this one here a meter 95 so we'll go and cut them eh all righty so you bring it in up on a dumb using the table then you mark the marks here so meter 95 this end put a line Come up to this end. You mark this one, which was a meter 25. And now I'm going to try and find some straight edge and I'll mark that. Here's an old fence paling, decking board. All right, so you want to get your line, get your line and then mark it. I'll give it a go, away eh, with the saw. We'll go and put her on, eh? See if I cut it right. Ha <laughs> ha! In there. Like a glove. All right, we'll do that to all the other sheets. I've got uh, two full sheets, another full sheet on that side. And then the spare sheet, I've got five sheets. The third sheet will do the little bit under the stair and the little bits at the end here, which you can't see because of the hot water system, but yeah, very happy with that. 
Looks great. All right, we'll get the rest of this lettuce up and we'll do an overall pan. To the section here. Yeah, Scully's down there holding the other end. Now see these screws, I'm just using normal screws. All right, but you don't want to be going into that packet. So here's another freebie for you. Just grab a handful of the little puppies and chuck them in your pocket, eh? I'll go in my left pocket because I'm right-handed. Should have gone right pocket, left-handed. Go whatever pocket you want. Fill both your pockets up. <laughs> Rightio. Righto, Mepo. Get on with it, mate. All right. How you going there, mate? Yeah, I've got to. Righto. Now, what you want to do is just get this level. Get a mate to help you. And um, you just want to whack a screw. I'm just going one screw. Just whacking one screw in it. Righto, righto Scully, I'm coming. Yeah, about time mate, about time. Alright bud, here we go, here we go. Oh, thanks mate, thanks a lot. Yeah, no worries. So you want to get all them screwed up all around, I've done the same thing. Mark the bottom, come down for the dimension, cut them all. So I'm going to get the rest of it all done, get on a bit of a roll, and while i got Scully working, I'll keep him going. Yeah, righto Mepo, no worries. Alrighty, just give you a bit of a progress shot. Got all the lattice done, all I gotta do is these small bits now. There's a small bit in there. There's a small bit here, so that fifth sheet, I just cut them the width first, and um, and then cut the heights, and then finish them off. But yeah, she's looking good, eh? Looking real good. Here we go, the last piece. Last piece cut up. Just slide this in. You can see here on this last piece, we've just slid it in. And we've got about a 20 mil. I'm going to go measure it. And then all I need to do for that is go from zero to whatever that distance is. I reckon it's 20 mil, which will bring that piece in at the bottom. So it'll join up nicely. Then after that, I'm just going to duck down to Bunnings, grab some black zip ties, so secure all these ends, all the um, all the joins, although you can't see, oh yeah, there, there's the join there. So we'll secure all of them. Hey, Scully. Yeah, my bro. Got to go up to Bunnings for us, mate, and grab us some zip ties. Yeah, mate. Mate, I'd love to go up to Bunnings and grab your zip ties. All right, mate, I'll be back in a minute, eh? That's pretty good, eh? Just stand there. I'm in a hurry, but we don't want Mepo to go off. Can you get up there? Alright, here we are, up the top. Excuse me, lass, can you tell me where the zip ties are, please? That's over at all 38. All 38. Well, thanks, mate. It's people right. everywhere. Oh, thank you very much. All 38. <laughs> Bunnings is huge, eh? Walking around forever, you need a map and a cut lunch. Number 38. Roger. All 38. Alrighty, here we go. Zip ties. <laughs> Zip ties, where's the zip ties? All right, we'll get him a 25 pack. That should be plenty big enough. Just, just check Scully on his way yeah. out. He's, we uh, whacked her on the account, he, eh? We put he, her on the account. That he's got nothing down his back. Yeah, it wasn't a bad trip, eh? First trip down out outside the house and I got a strip search as well, so ha <laughs> Thought I had something down me duds, they reckon. Roger. All righty, Scully's just come back with the zip ties, so I appreciated that. He was a bit nervous, he reckons he got strip search, so. I don't know, but anyway, we've got to join these joins now. Join these joins, one there, on the corner, one there, one there, one there, and one down there. So we'll join them all up with zip ties. Got a pack of 25, so that's four zip ties per join. Alrighty, here we go. Roger Dodger, we got it going on. She's all painted, all done. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, eh? give us a comment, and don't forget to tell your mates. See you next Wednesday.